Only two points separated Bordeaux in seventh with Rennes in ninth. A win would see Christian Gourcuff's team leapfrog their opponents. Not an easy trip to the Matmut Atlantique Stadium. Bordeaux hadn't lost at home to Rennes since 2006. A win for Jocelyn Gorvenec could see his team join Lyon in fourth place. Bordeaux goalkeeper Cedric Carasso was called into action early on. Morgan Amalfa Town had chanced his luck and Carasso got down early to make the save. Fantastic stop by the Bordeaux keeper. Another wave of Rennes attacks brought Giovanni Sio forwards alone in front of Carasso. He rounded him, but his shot was cleared off the line. A tight angle for Sio to work in. Carasso was beaten. No goals at half-time. Ren with all the chances in the first half. Bordeaux need to offer a lot more if they want to get anything out of this match. And Govanek's half-time speech worked wonders because they showed attacking spirit straight from the restart and were rewarded instantly. And Gadget got the cross in and Jeremy Menez was there to turn the ball in. The former AC Milan man getting his third goal of the season. Pedro Mendes with a flick on, unintentional of course, but Menez was at the back post to finish. However, Ren were rightly rewarded for their first half performance with a brilliant goal. Johan Gourcuff finished off a wonderful team move with his diving header. Ludovic Ball with the assist and Ren level with 20 minutes to go. Great diving header by Gourcuff. Carasso, no chance. Jeremy Menez should have scored his second of the night as he sliced through the Ren defence. But goalkeeper Benoit Custil was there to parry and the ball hit the bar. Cheaply lost by Ren in defence. Menez with the step, Custil with the save. Ren goalkeeper earning his team a point. An entertaining match which yields no winner. Overall a good performance by both teams even though Bordeaux could have won it late on.